Baseball and basketball has its similarities. They're both team sports, and one great individual can only take you so far. You need players to be on the same page as a great player, which we term as role players, in order to win championships, or else a team won't be successful. And this is where the famous saying comes in, there's no I in team. Baseball and basketball are even similar when it comes to haunted stories. And in this video, this is what's going to be talked about. And with all that being said, welcome to the Halloween edition of the MLB and NBA's most haunted hotel the Fister Hotel and the Skirvin Hotel. But before we get deeper into this video, I'd like to shout out my dude, King Koopa J. He has a variety of sports videos, just like there's a variety of candy when you go trick or treating, as you can see on the screen. So hop over and subscribe to his channel and watch his videos. His videos are really lit. The link to his channel will be below this video. And also, very close friends of mine created an Instagram page to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease. So if you are a person that is suffering from the disease or know someone that is don't be afraid to follow their instagram page fight against ad and to share yours or someone else's story and like i always say once again it's third iv195 coming at you with another video stay tuned <laughs> This is the MLB's most famous haunted hotel. It's located in Milwaukee. This is supposedly a really haunted hotel that many MLB players spend the night at when they are in Milwaukee and they have to go up against the Milwaukee Brewers the next game. MLB players who fly to Milwaukee and spend the night at the Fister Hotel have told many stories about how haunted their experiences were, like the radio being turned on by itself without no one touching it, random knocking at the door, and when that specific player goes to check who was at the door, no one is there, and many more stories. The origin of the Fister Hotel goes back to the late 1800s, owned by Charles F. Fister. The Fister began with his father, Guido Fister, who was a German-born tanner and had many business interests, so he decided to purchase the land because his father visioned owning a hotel, but unfortunately, his dad would die before construction being done on the hotel began. That's when things fell in Charles F. Fister's hands, and he turned his dad's dreams into reality, and he built the Fister Hotel and invested more than $1 million in the hotel and the hotel was finished being built in 1893 the hotel was beautiful look at it even now more than 100 years later after it was built as you can see it still looks amazing the hotel would struggle for a bit in the first year of it opening but it would suddenly start to thrive until a republican convention took place at the hotel in july back in 1894 because charles fister was heavily into politics he was a republican after this event took place many celebrities and politicians would come to the hotel and it started to become famous which resulted in the hotel being really successful being ran under Charles Fister. Charles died on November the 12th back in 1927 because after he suffered his second stroke in seven months at the time he developed pneumonia and died right after. Ever since his death he haunted the Fister hotel because while he was alive he was so emotionally invested in the hotel. He even lived in one of the hotel suites while he was alive and that's what happens when you are emotionally invested in something on a certain level. When you die and leave whatever you are emotionally invested in too much, you don't allow your soul to rest in peace, so your ghost ends up haunting the place. And I believe this stuff, because I've heard family members that are not liars tell me about experiences with ghosts, and this is what happens when you are too attached to something. If you believe in this stuff and want more information about it, just go and ask a spiritualist. They will tell you exactly what I said. Some MLB players were asked about their experiences at the Fister Hotel, and this is what they said. Adrian Beltre, a future Hall of Fame, who currently plays for the Texas Rangers said when he used to play with the LA Dodgers back in 2001 that he heard knocking at his door even with the TV and air conditioner off. A three-time World Series champion Pablo Sandoval said that he went to go take a shower and he put his iPod next to a speaker and when he came out the shower his iPod was randomly playing music back in 2009. Bryce Harper said back in 2012 that he laid a pair of jeans and a shirt on a table at the foot of the bed and when he woke up in the morning the clothes were on the floor and the table was on the opposite side of the room. Brandon Phillips, who just won a World Series championship three days ago in 2013 said he was in his room and the radio turned on by itself. So he decided to go and turn it off and then he went in the shower and when he came back out the shower the radio was on again. And Carlos Martinez is the Fister Hotel's most recent victim. Just look at the comments on his Instagram post. There's so many more stories and encounters with the Fister Hotel. The Skirvin Hotel. The Skirvin Hotel 
Hotel is located in Oklahoma City, and this is where NBA players spend the night before they have to play against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And the origin of the Skirvin Hotel goes back to the early 1900s. The story is about a maid named Effie. She had a child with the hotel's owner, W.B. Skirvin, and to protect his reputation and avoid a scandal in the news, because assuming she was underage, W.B. Skirvin locked Effie in a room on the 10th floor, where Effie started losing it and went crazy and decided to commit suicide, and she carried her baby along with her as well, and they both ended up dying because they fell from the 10th floor, and ever since this happened, Effie's ghost and the baby's ghost would haunt the hotel for years, and still is today. Some NBA players were asked about their experiences at the Skirvin Hotel, and this is what they had to say. Justice Winslow, who currently plays for the Miami Heat, said when he was taking a shower at the hotel, he saw the bathroom door open by itself. NBA champion Theron Butler, who played for 9 different NBA teams, said everyone in the league knows about her. He was referring to Effie when he said this. When Todd Gibson was on the Chicago Bulls, he said that his bathroom door closed by itself, but he says he tries not to believe in ghost stories, but after this happened to him, he surely believed in the stories. In the same night that this happened to Todd Gibson, Derrick Rose, the youngest MVP in NBA history, stayed in James Johnson's room when they used to play for the Chicago Bulls because Derrick Rose was so scared of seeing a ghost after hearing a certain noise. James Johnson is a black belt, so that's why Derrick Rose decided to stay with him, because he felt safe with James. Derrick Rose even claimed that him and James Johnson heard some stuff in the hallway the night before. Back in 2013 when Wesley Johnson used to play for the Phoenix Suns, he said when he woke up, he found his bathroom door closed and his tub filled with water. Ex-NBA player Sean Marion said that one time he heard some noises, but he didn't bother to go check when he stayed at the Skirvin Hotel. Another ex-NBA player Meta World Peace, known as Ron Artest, even said that a ghost touched him in the wrong places. It's even said that Effie is a woman with loose morals, and men that have stayed in the Skirvin Hotel rooms reported that they were hearing a female voice while they were alone in their room. And there's just so much more crazy stories about experiences at the Skirvin Hotel. So it makes sense that Meta World Peace said that he was inappropriately touched by the ghost if this really did happen to him. There's many more stories about the Skirvin Hotel from people in the NBA circle. But that's it for the video guys, and like I always say, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button and comment below tell me what you think your opinion matters and follow me on my twitter and instagram account it's the same name as my youtube channel name and share this video and if you don't do either of these things the hotel ghost will come and haunt you <laughs> happy halloween peace <laughs> Here for a fill, I see that when 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 I see